Dear students, today we will be discussing about matrices. Matrices is the plural word and matrix is the singular word. Actually, what we are going to see, what is a matrix that we will see first? A matrix is a rectangular arrangement of numbers or functions into rows and columns. Actually, uh, we are discussing about only numbers. For the time being, we will understand like that. A matrix is a rectangular arrangement of numbers. In what way? Into rows and columns. For example, minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 6, 7, 8, 9. It is a rectangular arrangement. You see, it is a rectangular arrangement of numbers. In what way? Into rows and columns. Such an arrangement is called a matrix. Generally, matrices are denoted by the capital letters A, B, C, etc. It is denoted by like that. And the elements are denoted by small letters. And this is the symbol for a matrix. This is the symbol for a matrix. You see the examples. A matrix, we call it as matrix 1, 2, 0, 4, 3, 5. Matrix 7, 0, 3, minus 8, 5, 2. And matrix minus 1, 5, 10, 8. Therefore, what is a matrix? Matrix is only, it has no value. This is a simple arrangement of numbers. In what way? It is a rectangular arrangement of numbers. In the rows and a column. You see, in this example, how many rows are there? 1, 2, 0 is first row. And 4, 3, 5 is the second row. Two rows are there. How many columns? 1, 4 is the first column. 2, 3 is the second column. 0, 5 is the third column. Here also you see, in this example also, we can see this is the first row, the second row, third row, and this is the first column, second column, third column. In general, if a matrix is having m rows and m columns, we call it as an m by n matrix. Actually, we are writing like this, m rows n, but we will read it as m by n. Therefore, what is the order of this matrix? How many rows are there? Three rows are there. And three columns are there. Therefore, we call it as a three by three matrix. Here you see, here we have three rows and two columns. Then we call it as a three by two matrix. In the same way, here we can see two rows and three columns. Then we say two by three matrix. This is a three by three matrix. Then, if you understood like that, if a matrix has m rows and m columns, we call it as an m by n. You remember that? We will read it as only m by n matrix. Okay? That is the order of a matrix. Now, how we can represent a matrix in the short form? Now, Generally, I told a matrix is denoted by capital. Suppose, what is the meaning of this matrix? If you are writing a matrix in this way, the first suffix i denotes the row, and the second j denotes the column. Here, suppose A is a matrix of 2 by 2, it means it has 2 rows and 2 columns. Therefore, how we can expand it? If you are expanding it, first row. First column, A11. Then, this first row, first row, second column. Only two rows are there and two columns are there. A21. Second row, first column, second row, second column. This is the expansion of the. You see here also we can see A is a 2 by 2 matrix. Then, A11, A12, A21, A2. Suppose it is a 3 by 2 matrix, you see, BIJ. 3 by 2 matrix means 3 rows and two columns. Therefore, we are expanding it will be B11, first row, first column, B12, first row, second column, like that. You see this example also. This is the expansion of a matrix. Now, generally, suppose we are giving a rule. It is asked to write the matrix A equal to AIJ, where some rules will be given. Here, AIJ equal to I plus J. AIJ equal to I plus J. This is the rule of the element. Therefore, what will be the first element? A11. According to the rule, you see, Aij means I plus J. Therefore, A11 means 1 plus 1 equal to 2. Then, first, next element, A12. 1 plus 2 equal to 3. Then, A21 equal to 
2 plus 1 equal to 3 and a22 is 2 plus 2 equal to 4. In the same way, therefore, you can write as net matrix also. Here, the rule is this 2 by 3 here I wrote 2 by 2. If it is 2 by 3, it will be like this. You can write all the elements of the matrix by the given rule. One rule will be given in that matrix that you can write. Now, next. What is this square matrix? It is very simple. If the number of rows and columns of a, columns of a matrix are equal, number of rows and columns, number of rows and columns are equal, that matrix is known as a square matrix. This is a square matrix of order 2, 2 rows and 2 columns. This is a square matrix of order 3, 3 columns and 3 rows. Therefore, if you know what is a what is a rectangle when it becomes a square, if the length and breadth are equal in the same way, if the number of rows and columns of a matrix are equal, it is a square matrix. Now, square matrix, you see, if I am writing as a matrix like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, for example, it is not a square matrix. Here, if I am writing another example, minus 1, 0, 4, 3, another example, minus 1, 2, 4, 0, 8, 7, 3 or 7, 8, 5. This is another matrix, square matrix. In the square matrix, in a square matrix, we can complete the diagonal, this diagonal. This diagonal we can complete. Here we cannot complete the diagonal. It is not a square matrix. Therefore, in square matrices, we can find the diagonal elements. These elements are known as the diagonal elements of this matrix. What are the diagonal elements here? Minus 1 and 3. Here the diagonal element, minus 1, 8, 5. So if in the square matrix, all the elements except the diagonal elements, all the elements except the diagonal elements are 0, it is called a diagonal matrix. You see, if all the elements except the diagonal elements, of a square matrix are 0, it is known as a diagonal matrix. It is a diagonal here, 8 minus y2. You see all other elements, all other elements are 0. Such a matrix is known as a diagonal matrix. Now, next comes scalar matrix. Scalar matrix, this is only a part of diagonal matrix. You see, in diagonal element, matrix, diagonal elements, all the elements except are 0. But here what happens? All the diagonal elements of a diagonal matrix are same, equal. You see, if all the diagonal elements of a diagonal matrix are same number, same number are equal, it is called a scalar matrix. Then we go for identity matrix. In particular, this is a part of, again, uh, scalar matrix only. If all the diagonal elements of a diagonal matrix, diagonal elements of a diagonal matrix are 1, then it is called an identity matrix. Therefore, square matrix, diagonal matrix, scalar matrix, identity matrix, then, then we have zero matrix. What is zero matrix? If in a matrix, all the elements are zero, all the elements are 0. Suppose 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Such a matrix. If all the elements of a matrix are 0, it is known as a 0 matrix. Then they denoted by a big 0. This is the element 0 and this is the matrix 0. We will write a big 0 for us, denoting a 0 matrix. Then, what is a row matrix? If a matrix is having only one row, minus one, zero. This is one row and a two column. Another example, minus one, four, eight, two. This is another matrix having only one row and four columns. If in a matrix there is having only one row, it is called a row matrix. Next. In the same way, if a matrix is having only one column, only one column, then we call it as a column matrix. This is 
These are the types of matrices that we have. This is the basic concepts of matrix.